of all, I'm Raj. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very big unboxing and quite a story about how I got, how I was able to get this piece and also a big bonus at the end of this video. I have a huge jewelry sale. So Merry Christmas to you and stay tuned. Let's go. Okay, so as you can tell, I'm not wearing my candy crush earrings. So when I did the unboxing of my Cornelian Perlé earrings, some of you loved them and some of you said that they look like candy and quite a few of you did not like them at all. And that wasn't very pleasant because I pride myself on having the most exquisite, or what I believe so to be, taste in jewelry. And when you come to me with criticism and saying, oh my gosh, you have way better earrings, what the hell is wrong with you? I start doubting myself and that's exactly what happened. So I don't have a good luck with carnelian. I have been on a hunt for a good carnelian piece of jewelry forever, and I have my sweet carnelian pendant, which I love very much, and you love it too. The color is perfect. It's in rose gold, which I love, but nothing else that came my way stayed. So this was very underwhelming and very mentally draining because I wanted to replenish a piece that I let go of, like I usually do, and I felt like carnelian would be great because I already gravitated towards that stone, but no, it wasn't the right color, it wasn't the right hue for me, and those of you who didn't like them, I appreciate, truly appreciate your honesty because you helped me let them go. I returned them, I got the store credit, and I went to the Rodale Drive Boutique to see what they had, and I got something. And that something was, even though I wanted it in yellow gold, I got it in white gold because I have never even seen it in yellow gold. It only barely comes around in white gold. And I felt like I wanted to expand my white gold jewelry collection. So I felt like it would be a great addition. So I got it. And that was the Frivol pendant in large model. And, um, and three diamonds. It was a pretty, a very pretty piece. It was the only one in the boutique, so I got it. When I got home, Alex told me that maybe I should have waited for yellow gold because I would have a set with this ring, and earrings are very heavy in the large frivol for me, and the small frivol, I don't like them because it's just one diamond. Again, that nipple kind situation like with their uh, rings or their holiday pendants, I just don't like a single diamond in the middle. For a small frivol, for a frivol mini, that looks way better and more cohesive because the diamond is small but the flower is also small. But I don't like frivol small at all because I don't like this flower on its own alone. So the large flower would be too heavy, the small flower would be probably perfect, but I just don't like the style, so I wouldn't I wouldn't buy them. Um, and the mini are too small. So I'm not into frivol earrings, but I really like the pendant, not the extra large. Extra large looks like costume jewelry to me almost. So I wanted the large, but it was never available. And Alex was like, maybe you should have waited, maybe you should have pre-ordered it. And again, I'm not into that policy whatsoever. So then I pulled out my loop and I looked at the pendant up close, at the white gold pendant, and it was extremely, extremely scratched. It was so scratched, guys. I can't, oh my gosh, it was so beat up. And you couldn't tell, and I couldn't tell at the store at all. Maybe because I have astigmatism or something, I need my loop, I need my glasses, I couldn't tell. I only looked at the diamonds and I was fine. So I contacted my essay from Rodeo Drive Boutique and I told him that, listen, I want, I want this pendant in yellow gold. He said it's unavailable anywhere in the US, we need to order it, blah, blah, blah. And he made it sound probably the way it is, kind of complicated, but I don't like that. Um, I don't like fighting for my pieces and kind of tearing them out from the store, uh, from the boutique, which happened in this case. Guys, you have no idea what I went through to get this. And I felt like if this piece is not available, I'm gonna find it in white gold and exchange this one for another one in white gold so I have it scratch free. So I contacted Yaying from South Coast Plaza and she said, we have one, but it's scratched. She knows me. I asked her honestly to tell me to look up close. She looked up close. She said it was scratched. 
I said, you know what? Let me compare them and then I'll decide. So I went to see her anyway. I compared the two and they were both scratched. She said that they approximately had that piece for a month in their boutique. So white gold for all is not that popular, but yellow gold is, you can't even order it. You have to join a waiting list. So I asked her if any other boutiques have it and she said, yes, Bellagio in Vegas has it. So I asked her to pay for it and transfer it right there and then and get it from her. And she said, because it's under $5,000, we are unable to transfer pieces from store to store. And this piece is right below 5,000. I asked her if because with tax, it's over $5,000, if they can like waive that little rule. And she said, no, it has to be retail price without tax. So we cannot transfer it, but you can call them and get it. So I returned my white gold for all pendant and I got the store credit and right in front of her, I dialed the Bellagio and I asked for Alberto. And um, I work with a couple of people there, but Miss Alex wasn't there. So I asked for Alberto and he told me that they have that piece. They haven't seen it in a couple of years at that boutique, that it's a very hard to come by piece. They're the only boutique in the United States that had it, but it's being paid for at the moment. Guys, you don't understand because I have the store credit. I can pay for it in one second, but he said that another essay just emailed the payment link to another client who wants to buy it and is buying it right now. I asked him when the link was sent. He said about 10 to 20 minutes ago and they're waiting any minute now for the payment to come in. And that was the moment I started spiraling because my competitive mode kicked in. I was on Sport Plus and I told him that, listen to me. I know the rules and I know that in the month of December, this month, you're not allowed to hold any pieces for any amount of time until the New Year's. And he said, yes, but sometimes people are working, so let's give her 10 minutes and let's see if she doesn't pay. Technically, it's her piece already. She's got the payment link, so any second now, she's submitting her payment, the piece is hers. I told him, listen, I have a store credit. I need to use it towards this piece. You're the only boutique that has it. You know me. You know I'm serious about it. I'm giving you 10 minutes, I'm calling you back. He said he was gonna call me back. I said, no, don't bother. I'm gonna call you back because I'm in the boutique right now and if I'm not spending my store credit on something from you, I'm spending it here and I'm done with this whole charade because it's so mentally draining. It was just so emotionally exhausting for me because I hate this. I believe in pieces that when they're meant to be mine, they just come into my life but not with the freaking frivol. Like this ring was also fighting me for the longest time and then I scored it and I feel very good about it. But at the same time, I felt like, why couldn't have I gotten it earlier? Anyway, so 10 minutes go by and I'm trying another piece on. I'm trying a bracelet that I also really love. 10 minutes went by, I call him. He says, let's give her another 10 minutes. At that moment, I felt like the floor escaped from under my feet. I felt helpless, out of control, and I am a control freak. Like that was not a pleasant situation for me. And I do not like leaving it in the universe hands when it's already almost in my hands. I just feel like one more push, one more push, and I'm gonna get it. I told him, okay, 10 more minutes, and then it's mine. And he said, okay, okay, um, let's just wait. So we waited another 10 minutes. I called him back and he said, okay, I opened your store credit. My manager gave me the green light. It's yours. We can't hold a piece right now, this month. That is true, and uh, we are selling it to you. 
So at that moment, I was not happy. I was like, I felt like I was finished with one of the hardest workouts or climbing a mountain. I was just exhausted. There was no instant gratification because I knew I had to wait until Saturday this morning to receive it. So I don't like that. I don't like ordering things, waiting for them because the second it says your package is shipped or the second I get the tracking number, I stare in my window and I'm waiting for the freaking truck. I can't sleep. I can't think about anything else because I have no patience. Like this is the kind of a person I am. If I want something, I want it now. I want it yesterday. And if it doesn't come, I'm bored and I'm over it. Like I'm just over it. I get mad at the piece, you know, even though it has nothing to do with you. So you already know what it is. I can open it for you. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. I love you. I love you so much. I've been fighting for you for so long. Yeah. <laughs> I love it, guys. I love it so much. There is nothing like a beautiful, gorgeous statement necklace on a girl. And this one is... A perfect statement piece and I have two 10 motifs so a 10 motif was not an option I just am not gravitating towards them as much as I'd like so this one is gonna go really well with my ring I still haven't gotten my nails done guys it was overnighted to me via FedEx and FedEx did not attempt the delivery lied that nobody was home and I had to drive all the way to Inglewood location to pick it up and I'm gonna file a complaint because every time we have FedEx delivery into our apartment complex, he doesn't come to the building, he goes to the Purcell locker, he sees that the signature is required, and then he takes it back onto his truck and drives away. So even though I was waiting for this piece since 8 o'clock in the morning, the delivery was estimated between 8.30 and 12.30 p.m., 8.30 a.m., and... Uh, and nobody came, so when I checked the tracking number, it said we attempted the delivery. I was so bitter because it's always happened with FedEx. FedEx just doesn't, they're the laziest people. They lose packages, they don't deliver packages, they just sit in their trucks on their phones, and I don't know why Van Cleef uses them. I actually requested for UPS delivery, but they said they don't use UPS. Maybe they have some sort of contract or a deal with FedEx, which which is very unfortunate because they don't deliver their packages to very nice neighborhoods like my own. So I went to my safety deposit box because I wanted to... I was cleaning my house before Christmas. I was donating a bunch of clothes, but I wanted to also do the spring cleaning. Is that the word for my jewelry? So I'm selling some of my most favorite pieces, but the pieces I don't reach for. The pieces I wear the least. And I'm letting them go, and I'm letting them go happily because I feel extremely exhausted having pieces that I do not wear just because they're tiny and because they're gold. I hold on to them because they're fine jewelry, but in reality, they deserve to be worn and loved. So I'm letting go of my sweet Alhambra earrings in hammered rose gold. Yes, I'm finally letting them go. <laughs> Guys, I have my little capers in rose gold that I wear all the time. So between the two, I've decided to keep my Ukrainian 14K plain capers for whenever I need a tiny little earring in rose gold. If you're interested, my email will be down below if you have any questions. If you don't, you can send me the payment via PayPal, friends and family only, to that same email and then shoot me an email with your address and you can get it that way. If you don't have any questions, if you have questions, feel free to reach out to me via email. All of these items are final sale, no exchange, no return because I'm not a store. All of these pieces are authentic. All of these pieces you have in close-ups all over my channel. I'm still gonna include close-ups at the end. So the Sweet Alhambra earrings, also my Justin Clue ring in white gold. I'm letting it go. It's my favorite piece. I know I haven't been reaching for it a lot and it's pretty much new. It has barely any scratches on it. Well, some minor scratches, of course. Same with the sweet hammered gold earrings. They are perfect. I don't think they have any scratches, but if they do, those are very minor because I barely wore them. And the final thing that I'm letting go is my five motif bracelet in Calcedony. Guys, I know. <laughs> There's gonna be lots of comments about this. I know, I know, because I have been wanting to sell it for a year. 
but because it's my very favorite piece because it's so hard to get and it is so hard to get in this exact color it is not lavender it's not translucent so it's not going to be diluted by your skin showing through it stands out it's a pop of baby blue it does have some translucency to it but it's a pop of baby blue it's blue versus lavender and it has a little tiny bit of lavender but it's mainly baby blue and because it is so perfectly rhodium plated it is so so pale white gold that i was so mesmerized so stunned by it i just love it so much it barely has any scratches i barely wear it i never layer it i stacked it for videos but in real life i didn't really want to stack it because i was afraid of scratching it even though rhodium is way more durable than gold so you can so you can easily stack it with your love bracelet because if anything is gonna get scratched it's your love bracelet so those are the three things i'm letting go thank you very much for watching if you found this video interesting or entertaining please give it a like subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell and i will see you on tuesday we gotta catch up bye guys